Michael Kenna, Master of Landscape Photography. Michael Kenna is most well known for his unusual black and white landscape photography. Kenna is an avid film photographer and has hours of his process involves time in the darkroom. Since the 1980s, Kenna has been using exclusively Hasselblad medium format cameras, as well as Holga plastic cameras. He always shoots alone and he has always made all of his own prints. Michael Kenna currently lives and works in Seattle, Washington. Born in England in 1953 to an Irish Catholic family, Michael Kenna was the youngest of six and the first to enjoy an extended education. Originally intending on becoming a Catholic priest, it wasn't until a few years into seminary school that Michael decided that the priesthood was not for him and that he would pursue the arts instead. He then transferred to the Banbury School of Art, where he was first introduced to photography and first became interested in becoming a photographer. Seeing photography as a feasible way to support himself, as well as a way to pursue his passion for the arts, he then went on to study commercial photography at the London College of Printing. It was during photography school that Kenna was introduced to photographers such as Bill Brandt, Joseph Sudik, Alfred Stieglitz, Eugene Najek, and Ansel Adams, who would become huge influencers on his work. After photography school, Kenna started working as a commercial photographer and an assistant, taking on whatever work he could find. In 1977, he decided to move to San Francisco after seeing the amount of galleries there that were selling artists' work, something that was severely missing in England. During the 1980s, Kenna was a printer for Ruth Bernhardt and it was under her tutelage that he became the master of darkroom manipulation that he is today. Kenna is drawn to certain times of the day, preferring to shoot in the early morning, evening, and often overnight. Claiming that he is uninspired by clear blue skies and sunshine, he also prefers to shoot in the mist, rain, and snow. Long exposures, sometimes over 10 hours, are often used to get the shots he wants. He is a man of patience, perseverance, and vision, and is known to bring a book or take a nap to pass the time. Michael Kenna's process speaks volumes to his style. Choosing to shoot on his own in peace and quiet using a very minimalistic style, he creates a sense of calm, solitude, and tranquility. Kenna once said, I prefer suggestion over description. The world is pretty chaotic, seemingly always speeding up and getting louder and more visually dense. I am interested in finding and or creating calm shelters from the storm, places where quiet and solitude is encouraged and inner contemplation possible. I think we could all use a break from time to time. Occasionally, Michael Kenna would shoot in color, but only for commercial projects that require it. Even so, the majority of his commercial works are in black and white. Kenna's roots are in commercial photography, and he still continues to shoot for companies all over the world, such as DHL, Nissan, and Huawei. He mentions using his commercial abilities to pay the bills while perfecting his craft on the side. It would not be where he is today without them. Michael Kenna's unique style of photography has taken him all over the world. He is most famous for his time in Japan, as well as France. He tends to shoot stylistically with some variation between the countries he photographs in, but always with the same underlying theme. As said by Kenna, I am interested in the relationship, juxtaposition, and interaction between the landscape and the structures that we, humans, leave on the landscape. Stories, footprints, evidence, traces, atmosphere, and history. That's what I always return to. Even if I am photographing in what could be considered wilderness, there is usually some kind of hint and touch that this landscape has been changed or altered by our intervention. In the other extreme, I could be photographing nuclear power stations in the middle of the night. There may not seem to be a great deal of nature there, but it is still the relationship somewhere between the two that draws me. I chose to present Michael Kenna to you because of his style of landscape photography and the feel of his work. I am not a film photographer as Michael is. However, I can truly appreciate this master at work here. 
The tranquility in his images is often palpable and something I can appreciate deeply and strive for from time to time. Ruth Bernhard once said that Michael Kenna's landscape and architectural images are islands of serenity and tranquility in a loud and chaotic world and inspire awe with their formal simplicity. I personally relate very well with his desire to work alone and in quiet, and I admire his ability to be true to himself and do what he loves. I believe that he is a master of projecting how a space makes him feel into his work. I am yet to find a Michael Kenna photograph that I am not impressed by.